Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. Uh, before we start and do something with all of this, I wanted to say a couple things. First of all, this is going to be my last Halloween pour of 2020. And uh, you probably will be seeing it after Halloween because it's Halloween today while I'm making this and I usually post a couple days later so I have time to edit because <laughs> I make so many mistakes. So happy Halloween from me to you, somewhat belated probably. And I also want to say that sometime between yesterday when I happened to look at my YouTube channel and this morning when I looked again, I crossed the 400 subscriber mark, and I want to thank each and every one of you. I am honored. I am so appreciative. I think this is a wonderful journey. I cannot tell you how long I thought I would never get anywhere near 100 subscribers, and here we are at 400 and some. It's really exciting for me, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, please keep like, subscribe, and sharing, and all that good stuff. And let's get on with our last Halloween pour of this year. So... Again, we're back to Dollar Tree because that's almost where I live at this point. And um, I found this. And it, I love the fact that the translation for these is mini bucket. So these are our mini buckets. They are little cauldrons. <laughs> they are very, very cute little cauldrons. Uh, they even have uh, flames, sort of raised flames on them. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with that. We're not going to be that specific. I think I'm going to hang on to this net bag and see if we can figure out a way to use this in a pour some other time. It won't be Halloween maybe, but something. Uh, but there were four of these cute little bucket cauldrons in our package. So what I'm going to do for our Halloween pour is I'm going to put them upside down onto an 11 by 14 canvas. That means we need a minimum of 9.625 ounces of paint. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer four cups. I'm going to get uh, four three ounce cups. We are going to layer paint into each one and then each one will pour over a bucket and we will end up with some interesting colored painted buckets, cauldrons, and also a very interesting, I suspect, canvas that we can then tilt. So let me get the cups. It's the one thing I seem to have forgotten when I set up here. Oh, look, I have them right here. Okay, so each of these is three ounces. I won't fill them quite to the top. So we will have somewhere between nine ounces and 12 ounces, which should be fine. Um, okay, so for the colors, oh yeah, I'm going back to using the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paints. And even though this is Halloween, things are going to get a little more complex because me. So I'm going to have one cup with Halloween colors, which is black, white, this is uh, titanium white, purple or violet, orange, and as you might guess, green. So that one's going to be Halloween. And then I had to reach a little farther into my paint collection for the other three cups we're going to do because each one's going to be different. So uh, for one of them, we are going to do aqua green, metallic silver, phthalo blue, and turquoise. Okay, and then for another one of our four cups, we are going to do titanium white, bright blue, crimson, and yellow. That's going to be sort of an all-American sunny thing. And then over here in the fourth cup, we're going to do a deep yellow, metallic white, bright red, and old gold. So this is gonna be a fascinating collection of a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get busy layering paint. Try not to confuse myself, we'll do one thing at a time. Okay. No particular order.
Alrighty. We are ready. Ish. Now, obviously, I don't have four hands. I cannot do this all at the same time. So I am going to just do one, then the next, then the next. I'll put them sort of toward the center so they don't start flowing right off the edges. Like that. Okay. Each cup gets its own paint. Here we go. We'll save Halloween for last. Each cup. Each cauldron gets its own paint. Sorry. <laughs> Confused much? Okay. And happy Halloween, everyone. Well, that looks so cool. Give it just a second. And then I'll try and I'll try and lift the cauldrons up without disturbing everything too much. Okay, now let's see how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'll transfer one color to the next, so I'll wipe off in between. All righty, and now we tilt. Very cool.
Oh, I am in love with that. Look how pretty that is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I gave Halloween the biggest spot because, you know, happy Halloween. What do you think, folks? Interesting, isn't it? Okay, hang on a sec. Let me get cleaned up and I'll take you in for the close-up. And then I'll bring you back tomorrow so you can see how everything dried. Stay tuned. Okay, here is our lower left corner. And we will go up the left side to the upper left corner. Along the top to our Halloween section. And the upper right corner. And down the right side. So pretty. To the lower right corner. And there is the entire painting as we just did it. And remember, I will bring you back and we will see how everything dried. So, see you in a bit. Stay tuned. And we're back. Look at how adorable the cauldrons are and how pretty the picture is. Oh, I am just, I'm loving this. What a great way to end the Halloween paint pouring season, huh? Let's take a closer look. We have our orange section. We have our Halloween section. We have our gorgeous, gorgeous aqua teal turquoise section. And we have our deeper blue section. Oh, I am so excited about all of this. I think this is just gorgeous. This makes me very, very happy. I hope everybody had a great Halloween. Now it's on to Thanksgiving and Christmas, folks. Stay safe, everyone. I will see you in the next video.